Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again, continuing with uh, how to typeset your novel in Scribus. Scribus. Uh, we had uh, uh, pasted in our text from our novel, and I've gone through and paginated the uh, front matter the way I want it. Uh, the rest of the novel will just paginate according to how you have it set up as far as um, it automatically will put in page breaks based on the number of lines and when the page is full, as you would expect, uh, similar to a word processor. But here, uh, we have to put breaks in where we want them. Now, we could uh, perhaps set up a uh, template or try to um, automate this, but I haven't really found an easy way to do it and it's no more work to actually just go through and do the you know several pages it only takes a couple of minutes once you know what you're doing so here we have the first page and you'll see that uh, the text is indented because our uh, style default style says to indent the text so uh, now the, the thing to remember is you cannot you, you can edit the text to the extent that you can add, subtract, and um, you know, add lines. You can move text down like so, or uh, whatever you want to do in that sense. But you cannot change the font or the you know, centering or you know, justification, if you will, any, uh, uh, as such here. So you have to do that one of two ways. One way is just to go you know, press F2, and this box comes up. You select text, and then it has everything you need right here. So this has uh, the name of the font, the, the the nature of the font. In other words, this font style, if you will. So it's regular, and and this has only uh, otherwise small caps. We'll see about that in a minute. Font size, the spacing, and then lots of other things here. Um, one of the things we're going to worry about right now is uh, style settings because you can go here and apply your styles. And, and the way this works in Scribus is that these styles that we set up over here in the, in the beginning when we're putting together a template apply uh, through the document uh, unless you change it one by one. So here we're going to, uh, I don't want this indented so I want it uh, first line no indent, style was set up and it, it looks at each one of these as a paragraph, which it technically is. And here I want uh, first line no indent. Then uh, I want both of these uh, centered, so I can select centered here. And then I want uh, a different font. So I want this. Whoops! I want this to be a font called Trajan Pro, and which is a font I like for titling. And I want it to be big, so I just pop in here 24 because I think that's the size I like. And here you have it. Now, the benefit to using the properties, as opposed to the edit text box, which we're going to look at in a second, is that you see what you do immediately. It just pops right on in. So in this case, I want this text down a little bit. So I move it down. And this is the first title page. Let's exit out of here. So as we talked about, this page will be on the right. The, the left-hand page is nothing because it's really blank and we don't start there. Now let's go down to the next page. Uh, so this, uh, when you open the book, the first page on the right is this title page has nothing else. We'll go down to the next page and uh, if you turn the title page on the inside of that, so the first left-hand page as it were, is the also by if the author has other books. Now we're going to edit this by going to edit. Actually, I'm going to select this box. I don't know if I have to, but all right, edit, edit text. You've got to have some text box selected, otherwise, this doesn't even show up as an option. So now this pops up. <clears throat> now, what this has is all of the text, hopefully you have uploaded. So could be all the text in your novel, could be all the text in the chapter. And then over here, 
You notice it didn't come up right away for whatever reason. It's another idiosyncrasy. I just kind of click over here and it, pop, and it comes up. I don't know why, but this tells you the style that's applied to that paragraph. So here, every line is a paragraph, see? As we, oops, as we move down, you'll see that this is a paragraph, so this style applies to the whole thing and uh, so forth. So as we go down, then when we get into the meat of the text, you see that the uh, style applies paragraph by paragraph, uh, not really to the whole document. Which is very, uh, gives it, gives it a tr tremendous amount of flexibility. And then here I can do the font and the text size. I can add things like shadowing or small caps or whatever. And set, uh, can justify the text, center it, write, justify, and so forth. And I can do pretty much everything else here. What I found though is when I have all 350 pages of the thing in here, this is virtually useless uh, because it doesn't display the text, it's very, very slow, and maybe it's a function of my computer, and partially it certainly is, but I've also read where um, other people have a problem. So I generally don't edit using this, but if you have a document, if you do it chapter by chapter, um, it's a nice broad way of taking care of things right away. Other disadvantage is, is that as you do it here, it doesn't show up at, over here until you click this green check mark. So in this case, I want also by, I want uh, first line no indent. I want this to be first line no indent. I want this to be first line no indent. And then I want them centered. Now what it does, you know, when you center it, it will show it. So let's go here, we'll grab this, and I will go up to the justification boxes and tell it I want it centered. Um, this is a convention as much as anything. I don't know that there is a bona fide rule, but I think it looks silly if you don't center this. All right. Uh, this text here, I want to leave the same. This text, the text of the titles of the other books I've written, I want to be in italics. So I happen to know that um, my Garmin here does not do uh, italics. So I go, I want it on something that's close. So I go to, uh, there's this Garmin 08. There's also one difference you see here. This lists every possible thing. So this has Garmin 08 regular, and this has Garmin 08 italics. In the other window, it was another drop-down menu, but it's all there. So I want italic, so I, I press that, and nothing happens because this the change as far as the font and all that goes uh, does not show up here. Um, and I could continue that on down in order to see what this looks like. Then we will click the green arrow up here. And with any luck, that box will snap over and do its thing. So there you go. That's what I told it to do. Um, this I didn't change, but it's centered. And this is in italics. And um, essentially, you just go through and set up the rest of the book. Uh, that way, uh, the way you want it uh, with this uh, front matter. And we'll continue looking at how to get this done uh, in the next